My name is Jeremy Kane. Class of 2023, I go to Corona Centennial. Started dancing. From the time he started walking, he was really just dancing. There was one time he got up in front of the whole crowd and sang one of Drake's songs. Nobody on the team likes my, likes my music. He did the entire song by himself. Whatever Jerry puts his mind to, I think he can achieve. The ultimate goal is to make it to the NBA. That's been my dream since I was in like second grade. And what would winning the state championship mean to you? I think that'd be amazing, especially since it's in my hometown, Sacramento. Ever since this year, I feel like the Canada South, We've been an underdog this whole season, I feel like. Nothing new, just always playing with the chip on our shoulder. Whether there's a camera and a microphone, it doesn't matter. He's that loud all the time. He's a winner. He wins everything he does. I'm really tough, huh? My name is Jeremy Kane. Class of 2023, I go to Corona Centennial. Started dancing. I mean, ever since I can remember, I started dancing. There's videos of me when I was like four dancing. So, I mean, ever since I can remember. I love that he was dancing on a social platform. I thought that was so cute and so cool. He was a big fan of Disney. High School Musical kind of propelled him into more dancing. He, um, like Usher, we used to try to get into, you know, sing and dance. Well, I don't know if he's really a good singer. I'm two days into college and I am three lectures behind. There's this guy, let's name him Colin. He said he wants to be mine. It's kind of crazy. It started when it was kind of like at Peace Jam. It's kind of when I started, it started to kind of go up. It's when I would do a TikTok before the game and then we would win and I'd post it. Doing a dance before the game, dropping 30, 30, you know, we wouldn't drop 30 every game, but it was like 20. But <laughs> to win the whole thing. Every single day he came out and competed, propelled to where we are now, because it, it's just been this ride that we're on. The ultimate compliment you can give an athlete, if somebody's a winner, I think that just, you know, it personifies everything. Most guys that are winners, they understand what it takes to win. They're unselfish, they play hard. You know, he, he's a winner. He wins everything he does. Meditation, I think it just helps me, especially now, with like kind of the stuff I, the, all the followers and every the haters that come with it and stuff like that. It just kind of keeps me grounded. And it's just a perfect start to the day, in my opinion. I think a good morning routine. Game day meals. Uh, breakfast is usually always the same. It's a bagel, egg, bacon sandwich. Lunch, like right before the game, I usually have like spaghetti or something. Usually our first period, which is shoot around, walk through kind of, and we walk through other teams' plays, go through our plays, and then we shoot around, put the music on. Nobody on the team likes my likes my music. Oh really? Yeah, they don't mess with the, the chill vibe. The chill vibe? They all want NBA Young Boy, Money Bag Yo. You just gotta be chill. See, I told you it's all murder music. I gotta put you on the off. I'm actually gonna take it. Devin, is this you? See, look, look. I'm not playing baby face Ray. We still with the same ass. You can't tell you don't like this music. Well, why would we listen to hard music at 7:30? It's like I'm not trying to murder. I'm not trying to murder someone at 7:30 in the morning. You listen to YNW Melly's little brother? Wait, have you listened to him before? He's wait, he's not fire. Who's Baby Tron? All right, if I play Babyface Ray song and it's good, what song? You listen to Babyface Ray? Oh my God, this is trash. This is trash. Do I have anything on my face? I gotta look good for Slam. Now I'm doing the float. First time. Yeah. I don't know if Slam wants to see me naked. I'm getting naked. Week 15 at the draft. <laughs> yes, sir. Arrow. The purple joints, right? The purple joints? Purple joints. Thank you for pointing that out. That looked a little weird. Yeah. It's alright. You guys have a blessed day. Have a great day at school, guys. Ma. Mom. Hello. Mom. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> now I can. Can we get uh, a smoothie or something? What up, David? Wanna say what's up to Slam? Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. Sometimes I miss school. There's always some good vibes at school. Can I get the raspberry craze? I'll do a medium. It's so big. So basically, 
eliminates all your senses. So you can't taste, smell, or hear anything. And you're in like this Chamber. tank. They basically like a more intense version of meditating. Okay. Floating helps you recharge and refresh and allows you to be with you and your thoughts for an hour, which is obviously hard to come by in our fast paced society. Um, once you get your face dried off, here plugs petroleum jellies for if you have any little cuts or scrapes, just put some of that on there that'll keep the salt from burning. Okay. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's nervous. Mm -hmm. Sure. Once you get like really in a meditative state, then you're kind of just in there. And who put you on? I kind of got it from Shay. Is that what we were trying to figure out? I saw Shay do it, doing yoga a while ago when I first started training with him. In middle school, there was an elective yoga, there was a yoga elective, and I took that. Chick fil A is probably. Yeah, that's why I go to. One. Spice chicken sandwich, no pickles. So just a sandwich in that one. And then I get a 12 count meal with lemonade, no ice. Favorite meal? It's a toss up between tacos and spaghetti. I think I'm gonna go with spaghetti. Ah. No, I think tacos are better. I think just because I had them yesterday is why I'm not saying that. My name is Shannon Sharp. I'm a basketball skills trainer and coach of skill and development over at Centennial High School. Stretches, does yoga, all that stuff you see on YouTube is not fake. Walk in the locker room, he be in the team room stretching and going through yoga with Adrian. I think it's just his mentality just takes him to another level. Whatever Jared puts his mind to, I think he can achieve. So whether it be wanting to be one of the best players in the country in college, whether it be wanting to be in the NBA, whether it be whatever Jared wants to do, he has the work ethic and the mindset to achieve it. Oh, I feel special. They're so comfy. The first, the first slippers, like these are insane. I haven't put gibbets on yet. I got to put my gibbets on. But I need it to be shorts weather. Cause I just hit up all the brands now. Like this company sent me like five or like, like 10 actually. 10 pairs of shorts. Yeah. I love soccer. Bro, I was disgusting. I'd still be playing right now if it didn't interfere with basketball season. My freshman year, I was like basically just a shooter. Like all I did was shoot. And when I started training with him, we kind of just was working on handling and finishing at the rim. And just kind of making reads to where to use my shooting ability to get people to, you know, jump with me and then go by him to finish. because. That's basically what I need to work on was just getting to the basket and finishing. I wouldn't really go for contact, but now I feel like with his help, it basically helped me with my whole handle and my finishing. So that's pretty much the best way to describe him. He just wants to win. He will never count himself out. The other day, somebody asked me, what, what is Jared best at? Or if you had to pick one of his skills, what would you say is his best skill? And I said his competitive spirit. He competes every day. Whether there's a camera and a microphone, it doesn't matter. He's that loud all the time. Hey! Another one for you. Yeah, Jay, get up, though, boy. Hey! Hey, one! Get to the rim. Switch on the big. Oh. Ah! It slipped out my hand. I was gonna try it, and then it slipped out my hand. This whole video is gonna be a rotation of like four. <laughs> Pajama pants. I got these like a long time ago and then when it got cold I started wearing them and I was like these are so perfect to work out in because they're like you tuck them into your socks and it's like kind of there's air so you're not too hot and you're not too cold. You saw this? The be on the slam cover. I just gotta show the video of that so then maybe the slam executives will put it up there. So slam just watch out for that one. <laughs> Two years ago I wrote that. That's when I saw that uh, I think it was the one with Josh, Jalen, Sharif, yeah. Take some time to just really look over me and my, my resume and just maybe you'll give me a slam cover one day. I'll be on it with someone else. Like, just put me like somewhere on it. Like, I don't have to be the center stage, you know? The ultimate goal is to make it to the NBA. That's been my dream since I was in like second grade when I was eight and I was just praying to make it to the NBA, watching Kobe. That's my favorite player of all time. And my ultimate goal is basically just make it to the NBA. I used to do clay I had hats, shorts, mesh shorts. I was on the mesh shorts wave way before everyone else was. All these unfinished patches. I DM like every top high school player when I was in eighth, or like I think seventh or eighth grade, and I DM'd all of them. <laughs> and none of them, well like two responded actually. One went to Louisville, I think. Oh, Nico Mannion, I sent him one. 
So those were the two that responded. And then you just gave up on the brand? Yeah, I just gave up on it. I made some money and then I was like, I'm on to the next thing. You guys see this game? No, what game is this? Kansas versus Texas? Ball is it? Kansas. With 2.2? Yeah. Oh! No, 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 no. It was already ringing. No, 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 no. It was already ringing, right? Oh. No way. Oh, no, it's, nope. not, it's not good. Nope. It's still in his hands. Teddy, are you going with us? You're my game. No, he's not. He can't speak English. You guys don't understand. He doesn't speak English. I'll make a TikTok. Oh, hell no! Wreck, 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 wreck. They see people struggling and they, you know, they have feelings, you know, they. They love to see kids. They know how to act. We don't worry about them when they're out somewhere else because they're going to make the right decision. These guys understand time to mess around and have fun, time to punch the clock and get to work. You know, they understand that. When we walk onto the floor and we're getting ready and we cross the lines, they work. I think Jared is one of those unique athletes that, you know, whether he goes to college and has instant success, he finds a weakness and then he works on it. He will work on it until it becomes a strength. People coming up to you to take pictures and they know your name or anything like that. It's a weird feeling when someone comes up to you to take a picture. It's like, wow, I get comments and DMs that people I inspire. Someone telling you that you inspire them is kind of one of the biggest accomplishments that could happen for me. My name is Gina McCain. I'm Jared's mom. I'm Lance McCain, Jared's dad. He never takes his foot off the pedal. It's really been amazing. Sometimes we, we look at each other and we're like, this is really happening. It's been really fun watching him have the success because it, it shows that the hard work you know, pays off. I think with all the stuff that comes around Jared, the cameras and all the stuff, I think he does a really good job of celebrating his teammates' success, probably more so. I would say he celebrates their success more than his own. For any other kid, this would be, you know, it could be a problem. It could relate to, you know, it could lead to jealousy in the locker room, things like that. So the fact that he does get all this attention, it doesn't lead to jealousy amongst the guys in the team because he's a great teammate. You kind of just have to stop looking at comments, really. Because, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people say, like, you can't see him or haters, like, they, you don't see him or anything like that, but you're going to notice the hate. When you see everybody walk in the gym or you see a sign that says your name on it, someone hating or something like that, you kind of just stay calm and meditating and reading my book before the game really gets me, like, in the zone and gets me comfortable to play out there. This is bad. <laughs> it's basically falling apart. <laughs> I only got three more games left. I just won the whole season. Like, I feel like it's just... We've been through a lot together, you know? I was meditating this morning, and I just felt like I was in outer space still. Like, I was just like floating. We've been the underdog this whole season, I feel like, since last year, since, you know, since any of us can remember, we've been the underdog, so nothing new, just always playing with a chip on our shoulders, but Coach Giles has told us. I'm really tough, huh? Someone took your phone off his charger? Yes. And took the charger, not the phone? Yes. It was a fast one, too? Those are elite. Just like any other game, just go out there and I like to write down my stuff and just be myself out there. Don't really change anything. Just know what you do and keep doing that.
telling Devin right before we went out, you had to do anything we can to win, and the whole starting five just was out there just doing, doing their thing. When we first got there, like, I could tell, like, people were looking at me, and I, I hate when, like, I know people are looking at me, I don't know what to do with my hands or anything like that, so I have, like, my headphones on, and I'm just kind of looking down at my phone or something like that, and then we kind of, we, you know, get prepared for the game, go back to the locker room, we come out, and then it's like, way more people are there, and then it's like, okay, this is, this is really time, I'm on the King's Court, I haven't played here before in my life, and I'm in my city, so I just had to, you know, lock in, I read my book right before that, so, Right when I got on the court, I just knew I had to, you know, show out a little bit for the city. That was probably my favorite thing this year, to go back home. I haven't been there in like three years, so it was exciting to go back. Got good vibes from my city, you know what I'm saying? But it was nice to go back, play first state championship, and, you know, come out with the dub. I mean, that's the plan. Hopefully, God willing, I'm able to play on one of those courts soon. But um, that was like my, I think, second time playing on an NBA court, so I wasn't, I was pretty used to it. I actually like the, the arenas. They're kind of cool to play on. I don't think there's another film like it. It's, di it's different than Peace Jam, it's different than CIF, but especially since it was in my hometown, I think it was a lot different, because knowing I knew it was going to be in Sacramento, winning that on, in the hometown, that was definitely an amazing feeling, indescribable. Hey, you know, Coach Shire and the co whole coaching staff, um, they were just amazing when I got, well, got there on the visit. Um, it just felt right, and with the play style and uh, who's coming in with me, I think We'll just play off each other really well and with that platform especially with nil and stuff like that i think uh, i'm able to uh, benefit from that a lot so those are two of the major things that went into my decision but i mean it's duke i don't know how many of you guys have passed up on duke so <laughs> i was talking to kids at the usa about like after after you're committed you kind of chill out a bit but you know you're obviously more secure you don't like you're not fighting for a college coach or to talk to you so i think it's a little a little less nervous i get this question a lot in my dms and i feel like one of the main things it's it's gonna sound cliche and like not i feel like everyone's heard it before but sometimes it's different coming from a player but working hard i think is the main thing for me i think eighth grade is when i started to pick up you know actually actually working hard so the tr the main motivation for the younger generation i think is just continue to work throughout bad games continue to work throughout bad stretches you're gonna have bad weeks bad months like it's gonna happen so you just got to continue to work and um you know, trust the process. I think that's the main thing. You know, I didn't get Duke till this past year. So like, I swear it, it, it sounds cliche, but you continue to trust the process and just get in the gym after bad games, you know, before the game, it's gonna pay off, I promise you.